Good morning, Pippa. Are you ready for your story? The story's about you today. This is Liberty over here. She's ready to listen too. Say good morning, Liberty. That's all your friends. This is Ebony Rose behind me. She's waiting to listen to the story too. I'm going to put Liberty down so that she can listen in her favorite place under the table. Today we're going to read the Diaries of Liberty the Pug and this is the arrival of Pippa and the chapter we're reading today is Ground Rules. I'm Barb, I'm the author and I love reading to all Liberty's friends all over the world. Ground Rules. I had a talk with Ebony Rose today and told her, just because Pippa is a small puppy, it does not give her permission to be a wild thing. So today we have a plan to stop Pippa nipping at Ebony Rose's leg, face, ears, and tail, all taking Ebony Rose's collar off. Pippa is five months old now and needs some um, ground rules. Do you have ground rules at home? Everybody should have a few ground rules. Today, Pippa came strolling into the kitchen to see us looking so innocent and cute, like a little angel. But as Pippa walked past Ebony Rose, she lunged forward and nipped at Ebony Rose's back leg. She wanted Ebony Rose to play with her. Just as Ebony Rose and I had talked about, we flipped Pippa over on her back gently with our noses. I stood over Pippa and Ebony Rose stood over Pippa. Pippa is lying down on her back, legs in the air, eyes wide, open, watching us, and she is relaxed in total submission. Pippa knew her biting days were over, and it was time to respect both of us. We gently gave her a once-over in her ears and her tummy with our noses to let her know we can do this any time we want. We would never hurt our little sister, and she is safe with us. But there will be no more biting Ebony Rose and stealing collars by this little wild thing. Can you see the picture there? There's Ebony Rose and Liberty just telling Pippa, no more biting, no more stealing collars. Life is getting back to normal for us now. If Pippa had spent more time with her brothers and her one sister before she came to live with us, she would have learned about the rules that biting is bad behavior. It gets the wrong attention. I knew it was time for me to step in and help mom and daddy with Pippa's biting problem. Mom and daddy just look and smile knowingly at me these days. Pippa plays very nicely with Ebony Rose. Do you have pets that want you to play but are not polite and nip at you? Or friends that might bully you? Tell someone and get help for your pets and for yourself. Life is much nicer if we learn the rules and respect each other. Thank you for listening today. We'll read some more next week. Next week, the chapter is Harmony at Home. I'm Barb. Thank you for listening.